Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Hey guys, it's me Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Carried. Well, parties, seasons, festival celebrations are all around the corner and there's going to be a serious demand for some starters. Well, this is from my holiday menu, a very special starter and that is chicken drumsticks two ways. Let's begin. When I say two ways, of course I'm going to do a grilling method and a baking method, but that's secondary. Primarily what I'm doing is I'm going to show you two different kinds of making the sauce. Well, the first one is going to be a strawberry barbecue sauce and the second one is going to be a dry rub, almost like a Cajun spice or a peri peri. Let's first begin with, of course, the barbecue style. And this one is a strawberry barbecue. Just a touch of olive oil. Before this kind of begins to heat, I'm going to slide in some cloves of garlic. Along with this, some dried red chilies. Of course, if you can lay your hand on fresh chilies, it's going to be just perfect and fantastic. With this as a thickener and to just kind of bring in that portion of sweetness, I'm going to add in red onions. And this now just kind of needs to begin to saute. While this is happening, let's move on to the most critical ingredient in this barbecue sauce and that is fresh strawberry. Well, it's very simple. Wash it well and hull the strawberries. When I say hull the strawberries, all you need to do is remove the green leafy portion of the strawberry. And of course, that needs to be discarded. Cut this into a half or a quarter. It's just kind of a rough cut. Just keep it aside and ready till the onions are kind of getting cooked. Once the onions are translucent and ready, let's increase the flame and add in the fresh strawberries. Now, because strawberries are in season in India, this is the best time to start using strawberries. I'm adding in brown sugar. Along with this, tomato ketchup. To this, I'm going to add in mustard paste. And finally, to kind of balance off all the flavors, I'm adding in light soya sauce. And you could also substitute this with red wine vinegar. All we need to do is allow this to simmer on kind of low to medium flame and that would take some around five to seven minutes. The whole idea here is to kind of make it nice, soft and mushy. Once that happens, you take a potato masher and you just mash this till the strawberry kind of releases all its fresh juice and becomes nice and pulpy. Well, the alternate method here is to cool this down completely and grind this into a smooth puree. Once that puree is done, you can also bring it back to the flame and cook it for a minute. With this, our sweet, sour, sticky strawberry barbecue sauce is done and ready. The next is to take chicken drumsticks in a baking tray and to this, just basic marination of salt, pepper and olive oil. We rub this well and this goes into bake for 30 minutes at 200 degrees or till the chicken drumsticks are perfectly cooked. While the chicken is getting baked, let's move on to the next step and that is grilling the drumsticks. As simple as oil on the drumsticks, this regular vegetable oil, to this salt again as much as required and as basic as freshly cracked black pepper. Well, not too much because you don't want the specks to kind of burn while grilling. You rub this well and just allow the grill to kind of heat up. The pan is heated up. Let's drop in the pieces of chicken and allow these to sear beautifully on all sides. And for that, of course, you need to keep rolling it in the middle. But yeah, you can just let it be for a minute. Once it kind of gets beautiful grill marks, turn it over. After a minute on high flame and when it gets kind of grill marks on one side, you roll it nicely on the other side and allow it to grill there as well. While our chicken drumstick is kind of grilling to perfection and this is going to take a beautiful 20 minutes to do that, let's begin with creating the dry rub that's going to be sweet and spicy. The first thing that is brown sugar going ahead with cinnamon powder followed up with garlic and this is dried garlic. I'm following this up with onion powder followed by yellow mustard powder, chili powder. Along with this sweet paprika, black pepper powder and finally to this salt. Mix this well 
And there you have a dry rub, which is done and ready. With this, a dry spice mix is done and ready. And this is also commonly referred to as a dry rub. Let's dredge this generously, or the way you please, on the chicken, which is almost 99% cooked. Keep rolling the cooked drumstick to ensure that it's sprinkled all over. With this, a chicken drumstick, which is kind of rubbed with a dry seasoning or a spicy seasoning, is done and ready. The next is to pull the baked one out of the oven and roll it in the strawberry barbecue sauce. Let's do that. With this, a chicken drumstick is also baked and ready. This now straight jumps literally in the strawberry barbecue sauce. We need to roll this generously in the strawberry barbecue sauce. And with that, of course, you have your second style of drumsticks, which are also done and ready. With this, you have chicken drumsticks done and ready, and this is two ways. Try this and impress your family and friends this festive season. Stay tuned to Get Curried while I get some more festive recipes from my holiday menu. Bye for now.